Good afternoon, I'm Kenneth Bullock, and you're watching Mediaplex Live at 1. Recently, local photographers came together to create a new modeling event for Windsor. Cassandra Malinowski reports. From what started as a small photography workshop has expanded to a popular event across the Windsor area. Today's event is the 7th uh, Windsor Modeling Photography Workshop and it's so amazing right now. I think we have like probably 80 people out right now and uh, it's so funny thinking that a few months ago there was only 10 people that came out so today's a huge success. For many local photographers the event has created more opportunities to improve their craft. It's given me a chance to network and set up like potential shoots for the future. So it's helped build my portfolio and meet some awesome people along the way. For models in the Windsor-Essex area, this event has become a major staple in their careers. I definitely use it for my portfolio, as well as profile pictures, that sort of thing. Joey Acott has high hopes for the future of the workshop. The next one will be next month. I have no idea where it's going to be, but I have some uh, ideas for uh, some locations. I can't wait to have more outside, maybe in a farm or a barn. In May, we're going to try and do an art show at Fog, and so I've got some, uh, some space booked there. We're going to have people print their pictures and put them up. I might even do a fashion show. Uh, I want to do more big things. I want to keep every workshop different and a lot of fun. For Mediaplex News, I'm Cassandra Malinowski. A special guest paid a visit to Sean Prevel in our studio. Take a look. Hello, I'm Sean Prevel, and I'm joined here today with Robert Franz from the Windsor Symphony Orchestra. He is the music director there. So first off, congratulations. I understand that you have renewed your contract for three years. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Well, first of all, I'm just finishing up my first three-year contract with Windsor Symphony, and I am completely and madly in love with these musicians. They're so talented and so incredible. And so the idea of continuing on my relationship is definitely very exciting to me. So I've just signed a new three-year contract and I'll be remaining in Windsor for at least another three years but hopefully longer as we continue on our artistic trek together. Well, that is very wonderful to hear. Um, now I understand you also uh, spoke recently about the orchestra's upcoming season. Could you tell us a little bit of what we can expect? Sure, so we just announced our 2016-2017 season and um, for our three main series we have a, a number of exciting things in, in play. First of all for our masterwork series, uh, for opening night in September and closing night in May, we're going to be adding extra members, extra musicians to our ranks and growing the orchestra into a larger, more romantic-sized orchestra to perform Tchaikovsky and Brahms symphonies. That's going to be great. And then the big cornerstone piece on our Masterwork series next year is a concert version of uh, Candide, the operetta by Leonard Bernstein, featuring things like Glitter and Be Gay and Make Our Garden Grow and, and really famous songs like that. The second series, our Intimate Classic series, is a, is a small smaller orchestra size. It's more intimate as the title suggests and we're returning to the Heritage Room uh, to perform this at uh, the Old Assumption Chapel. We used to perform this series there. It's on Sunday afternoons and it's a beautiful place to hear the orchestra and to be, be with the light coming in through those incredible windows. And then finally we have our pop series uh, that is Friday, Saturday and Sunday nights five times next year and that will feature first of all a Broadway singer Doug Lebrecht who um, was Phantom and Phantom of the Opera in Toronto for eight years. Uh, so many uh, many of our audience members may have seen him, gone up to Toronto and seen him in Phantom of the Opera. And also we're doing um, some silent movies, some Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin movies, as well as a night in Vienna, holiday pops, and some comedic clarinet playing with orchestra. And so it's kind of a real combination of things throughout the season. I'm Sean Prevel, and we've just been spending a bit of time with Robert Franz, the music director of the Windsor Symphony Orchestra. Today, St. Clair College journalism students are taking part in a biannual tradition. Taylor Bush explains. The Mediaplex Blitz is meant to challenge first-year students. They write a story, have it edited by working journalists, and published all in the same day. Mark Brown says the Blitz gives them the opportunity to experience a real-world newsroom in real time. Journalism is a very deadline-driven business. Blitz is an excellent opportunity for students to um, actually experience what really goes on in the workplace. To see their finished stories, check out the Mediaplex.com tonight or tune into Mediaplex News Now Tuesday evening for full coverage of today's event. Now turning to weather, tonight some clouds will roll in and our temperature will drop to minus 4. For tomorrow we can expect some scattered flurries through the day with a high of 2. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kenneth Bullock and you've been watching Mediaplex Live at 1.